I normally try and make it a level of that. It's a, a good height for me. Hello! Who's there? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Maria! Hey, Maria! We're just getting sorted. Getting ready for all the fun and games. Fun and games. I'm going to pop this over here for now. And I think we just need to zoom in one more. One more click. Boom. There we go. Perfect. Let's move this over. Happy Friday, everybody. And thank you for coming and crafting with me. I've got a couple of things up my sleeve for tonight. A couple of fun bits and pieces. Ooh, loving the sound today. Oh, I thank you. That was you, Greg, wasn't it? Yeah. Just it every time. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Suze. How you doing? <laughs> and Snow's here as well. Cool. All kid, okay. So I was early. Oh my gosh. That is the first time for everything, eh? Okay, I'm going to start today with a quick card um, featuring some of my favourite things, I think. And then I'm going to, in a little bit, work with a, a digital image, which we're actually, is a heavy doodle image. Boop, 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 boop. A heavy doodle image that is one you, that you won't have seen before because it is a digital stamp that we are giving away on our blog tomorrow for World Card Making Day. How exciting! So, well, yep, that is happening. I'm going to be sharing that with you guys, giving you guys a little peek and using that in my stream tonight. Thank you, Craig. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to actually start with a different card because I thought, I don't think I've ever really used this little owl and I thought that it would be, um, he would be cute. So I'm going to do that. The sign is great. Usually I have TV full blast. It's normal TV sign. Yes. Whoop, whoop. Craig will be happy. I'll try not to sing because that's probably going to make it way too loud for you. <laughs> I've got some craft paper here and I'm actually going to be using my Distress Ink Picket Fence. And I only picked up this Picket Fence um, about what well, was in the summer when I went to Scotland. Um, we went to this crafts shop thing in a garden centre and I was looking for tumble glass because my tumble glass is done. I, I really need a new one. But I don't want to like buy it and spend like three pounds or something on postage. I'll just buy it whenever I'm buying something else. But every time so far I've gone to buy something else, they're out of stock with tumble glass. Anyway, so I went into this place, I was mooching looking for my tumble glass, and I saw a picket fence. Now I was like, oh my gosh, I don't have this. Why do I not have this? Um, so I bought it, of course, and I'm going to do a little white inking onto some craft. And also, oh, Elizabeth says she's nearly on time. Um, Elizabeth, I was on time. That's what's caught you out. <laughs> Yay. That's good. Um, I was, Snow, I was talking to you a little while ago about a stamp chamois and I intended to go on and order one and I never did. And then <laughs> I was cleaning out a thing on my craft room today and I found one in in its packet, in its plastic <laughs> and everything. Um, and, and I was like, oh, I forgot to have that. So I've got that all set up, all, all good. Although it's, I still don't... I still prefer the lawn fun one, I think, but 
but it was there and it'll do. Okay, so I thought I'll do something in here, but these are probably a bit big, so I'm gonna grab something else for now. So the other thing that I've got here, hiya, who else have we got here? Someone from Moscow, hello. I can't read what your name says, so you'll have to introduce yourself. You're sick, he's great. Um, so every week I always mention the fact that my, my desk gets into this chaotic mess. And uh, I had this in my craft room that I've had for ages and it hangs on one of those, I don't know what they're called, um, a railing thing, I think irk top or something from Ikea. And I thought that I would put this on my desk today and keep everything in here. So we'll see if that curbs the mess. <laughs> Probably won't. But we gotta try. And if we try, that's pretty much all we can do strive for constant improvement this little tree looks like he's going to be perfectly sized for what i need perfect there's a huge difference oh cool i don't even know what craig did to be honest i am happy and he will be happy let's fill in these gaps what has everyone been up to this week? It's been a good week for me. It's been a crazy week. I say that every week. This whole having your own business thing is not for the faint of heart. I tell you, it's just, there's always something to do. But it's a lot, e it's a lot easier doing things whenever you're doing something that you feel passionate about. That's for true. That's the truth for sure. <laughs> so no, do you mean there's a huge difference with the chamois? I think she probably means there's a huge difference with the sound. I'm guessing. Okay, so I've got my A2 stitched rectangles die. I feel like I'm in the light. Can you guys see okay? I'll try and stand back if I'm not in the way. So my plan for this is to have a, like a panel in the middle. Let me get my rounded rectangle dies because I have had them for ages and I haven't really used them much. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to use all my not much used stuff. And my idea is that I have a little branch coming out and then I cover this one with a stamped image so I want him sort of like here on my card so let's maneuver that to make that work okay what else is happening hey Tally hey girl i uh, wondering if the Lawn Fawn is a lot different than the normal chamois. I use a normal chamois. So I have used the Lawn Fawn one before. And it is thicker. It's thicker than the one that I have. This ooh, absorber one. Sorry, guys. So I've got it here somewhere. Like it's old and a little grubby. Well, a lot grubby. Because I decided that it was no longer, no longer worthy of living to be honest it feels a lot thicker this is a lot more maybe it's not thicker maybe it was just my imagination it felt thicker or smoother or something denser maybe is the right term but um but yeah i preferred the lawn fawn one but i have never to be fair i've never used them side by side i've always i used the lawn fawn one and then i moved over to this one in the lawn fawn one um, was past the point of no return plus I couldn't um, I couldn't grab, get my hands on it for a while <laughs> you do an awesome job Mrs. Leslie says Maria <laughs> hey did you guys see that we are we have announced our design team we're so excited there has been a lot of heavy doodle action happening um, and it is just amazing because I'm like 
tends to be that I'm like flat out, flat out, just so many things on my to-do list. And then I stop and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is, this is like a big milestone. <laughs> hey, Nancy, have a good day at work, my darling. It's Nancy's birthday soon, I saw on Facebook. <laughs> And um, Dee Dee is here as well. Hey, I'm going to stick my middle panel down first off. Lately, I've been forgetting to do this. Whenever I make like a shaker card or something, I stick my acetate on and then I'm like, oh, I should have done the inside panel first. So I'm doing that now while it's in my brain. In my brain. Um, yes, so we announced our design team and I am super happy about it. There was so many applicants, I think I've said before, like blown away by the number of people who applied. It's been absolutely amazing. And um, I'm so thankful to each and every person that applied. It made it a really tough job. Um, Luckily, I didn't have to make the decision on my own because um, we've got a really awesome design team coordinator. So I narrowed a lot down and then was like, OK, I need help because also it gets to the point where there's people that I know and recognize. So um, I want it to be fair so that it's not just it's not just um like if you if I know someone I'm prejudiced because I don't even you don't think that you would be but I think that you can't help it sometimes there there we are that and I grab a couple of Copics I don't really want an awful lot of color on this just a little bit maybe a little pink and a little blue and a little yellow just to add a little touch of color so the um, the blog is kind of going to be in full swing from now on. Oh, 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 oh. So the other thing I've been doing this week is um, being getting my web development hat on. So we've got a new home page over at heffydoodle.com mm -hmm. with a button that links to the blog and links to the project gallery. And um, there is a like a little graphic that links to the design team because we've got a page with our design team on there. Oh, this is the one that looks like it's supposed to be yellow, but it's actually very green. Yeah, you swine, I do not want you. Y00 zero zero will do. It's just for his little nose anyway, or beak. Technically, it's a beak, right? <laughs> oh, I'm missing my comments. Where did my mouse go? Congrats on the design team. Excited to see what everyone comes up with. Thank you, Tally. And um, design team looked awesome, especially with photos. Oh, thanks. It's nice to place the name of the photo. Absolutely is. Suze says that you visit all the design team sites. Yay. I hope all my links worked because... They were all dry, maybe a bit nuts this week, but yeah, it was fine. Just standard stuff. Um, <laughs> hey, Amanda. And um, yeah, and so yes, back to my homepage of my blog, because this is the most exciting thing. Also this week, we have, are you ready? Are you ready? we've launched our shop. So we've launched it like half an hour ago. So I'm hoping and praying that nothing breaks. We haven't had the first order or anything in yet. Um, but if you go over to heffydoodle.com, there's a button that says shop. You can go to the shop. And um, I'm, I'm just so excited. It's been an absolute, um, it's been such a thrill and such a ride, but also had its challenges um, luckily our 
IT mastermind has been absolutely amazing. Mark, he's the best. And he has not only been there to help when I need a hand or need something, but he's also been really helpful in like teaching me little things. And I'm like, oh, this is really bugging me. And he was like, oh, well, did you know if you just go here and do this and this and this, then that will work. What? Amazing. So I've been learning. It's amazing. <laughs> Amanda says, I got the last two heavy little stamps and die sets to complete my collection. Yay. Well done. Yay. Did you order it from one of our retail partners? That's amazing. <laughs> oh, I've missed a whole other thing. I'm here. Oh, wait, I'm here. I'm here. Are all the new designers here? <laughs> Bernie was trying to enlist all the new designers. Said, oh, it's it's mandatory, you know, to <laughs> it's mandatory to join in on Leslie's Friday night crafting. The thing is, we've got such a diverse team. <laughs> um, we've got people from kind of all over the place like I didn't even realize how all over the place it was um until I started shipping them their design team packages here comes Craig what's happening oh maybe not and yes yeah, so we've got people in Canada in America in Russia we've got Denise in Switzerland and Belgium and what are you doing Craig Okay. You're a hoot. I love this little stamp. It's cool. Thank you, Lisa. Lisa says, congratulations on launching the shop. Craig, I hope that you um, are in there keeping an eye on the shop. <laughs> I've just dropped the volume down a bit. And now everybody's really happy. Really loud. You've dropped it down a bit. It's just a bit oh, we don't want so Plus, when I laugh and things, it gets a wee bit. Yeah. So or sing. Is that okay? Is that okay, guys? Craig came in and turned me down. He's always censoring me. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> he probably wishes he could sometimes. <laughs> Don't forget Australia. Yes, we've got Ali in Australia. Western Australia. Somewhere. In fact. Yeah. Oh, sorry. We'll sound got quieter. Now. Craig, get your hands off the volume knob. <laughs> Does that mean you want it to be turned up a bit more? Everyone was like, it's great. I know. I know. And then you've ruined it. How very dare you. Um, I'm trying to find um, a stamp set which has a branch on it. I don't know. You ask them, how is that? How's that, guys? Hampton Arts Warm Fuzzies. This is cute little branch. Denise Snow, remind me to do branches in my stamp set. And Craigie. Better now, better again. Okay. <laughs> Did you know that you were going to get shouted? <laughs> Let's see. Ooh. back to good Phew. okay so my little metal rack is not working because i'm not putting my things in it let's put them in again processes only work if you use them leslie <laughs> so this stamp is from the let me have a look put it here for you guys to see Hampton Arts warm fuzzies it's an older one um, and it's really sweet oh somebody took a print screen why did you take a print screen Let me have a look. hey I've got hobby almost cooking his own dinner <laughs> oh per mr. bunny dobby Yep, so my store is up and running. 
and to celebrate tomorrow for World Card Making Day. It's kind of all go. Um, we will be having a discount for the store and also um, we are giving away a digital stamp um, I'm giving you guys a sneak peek I don't think this is big enough I want it to be longer let me see if I can find anything else um, yeah, we're giving, we're going to give you guys a, a peek at it in the stream. I will make a card using the digital stamp. Aha, this is a better one, I think. Hero Arts, who loves you? So are you guys going to be making cards tomorrow for World Card Making Day? I have got stuff happening. What have I got happening? I have got, well, of course, over on the Heffy Doodle blog, we will have our um, digital stamp, the free digi stamp that you can go and download and then make a card with or a project with. And in fact, if you make a project with it and you tag us, then you can win a prize. So full details will be on the blog. Crystal is writing that up. And um, there'll also be the code for the shop. Although earlier today, I noticed that the shop was a bit temperamental. If you're adding the code, you have to add the code at the cart stage rather than the checkout stage. So if any of you guys, happen to be on there that's a little tip but I have got sensei mark looking at the code the um, checkout code at the moment <laughs> Maria is planning on making as many cards as possible <laughs> I told everyone I get four to five hours in my craft room awesome so yes, as well as Heffy Doodle having a free juicy stamp and that excitement. And over at the Heffy Doodle blog, um, there will be projects from uh, some of the team members. And I will have my project on Hungry Heffy Crafts. But also tomorrow I am part of a blog hop for a collaboration between honeybee stamps and chibitronics so i have got a fun little quick light up card and if you haven't yet played with chibitronics or if you you get spooked because sometimes i make like way overly complicated cards so this one is really dialing it back so super simple you can't really go wrong so i think that that will be a nice sort of introduction kind of thing if people have been spooked by chibitronics before man I'm really spoilt with dyes like I don't realize how frustrating it is to cut out fussy cut these days especially on a live stream <laughs> and I have to I have to talk and um, cut at the same time Normally with fussy cutting, I am, um, you know, tongue, tongue out, concentration, hold my breath kind of situation. You guys know. Oops, I nearly absolutely chopped that in half. So I have a little video tomorrow up on YouTube for my honeybee project. Honeybee slash chibi. Oops. Nearly there. <laughs> Craig, the boss needs a scan and cut too. Well, actually, Suze, that actually might be happening 
because rum, 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 this week, gosh, so much happening. Um, this week, I filled out my exhibitor application form for Creative Vision. So guys, it is happening. You heard it here first. Creativation is, yep, it, it, it is definitely happening. We will have a booth. We are in the new exhibitor section. And um, we are in booth number 735. Oh, it's exciting. But we're going to be doing make and takes, obviously, and we're trying to plan, plan for that. And given the fact that I... Remember I got the RSI and my, and my, um, like here, it hit me like right here. And I, um, I was like, I just can't do that if it's going to be, <laughs> like for, for a workshop is one thing, but for innovation is another thing. There's no way. I know I wouldn't be using scissors to cut them out, but even die cutting, it's just not physically feasible from a time perspective or a, um, a like health perspective. <laughs> little YG11 there. Where's my, my little foxy? Okay. This is coming together nicely. Let's add some foam here. <laughs> Nancy says that she's available to assist. Well, no, seriously, Nancy, then you might get enrolled for that because I, I, I have to, I have to do a shout out actually on our Facebook group, um, Denise and and Snow etc. for Heffy Doodlers, because I, yeah, I want to give a shout out to the girls and see if anyone else is going to be coming. Because we will need hands on deck for sure. Oh, it's so exciting. So I found a way. Remember the, the sticky tape gunks up everything. Snow gave me a good idea the other day where she said that if you have any release paper from a like from here like if you've got leftover release paper what you could do is layer it onto the really really sticky side and then cut to protect your scissors and I was doing that and that worked but then you can only really use it once so it's a very like limited thing but then I had another idea and I've only done it once so I don't even know whether it'll actually pan out or not but I took my craft mat and I stuck I stuck it I stuck it down onto my craft mat and by the way guys um, I love that you are chatting away but I, I'm finding it hard to keep track so please forgive me if I don't respond so if I then take my knife and don't actually push down on it just kind of drag down a little bit it's still connected but then i can like pull it apart it gives a little bit of a raggedy edge but it saves my scissors because they were getting so gunky 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 hey jessica yay so um yes i need to do a little shout out on the the group Facebook page that we have for our design team. But yes, that would be awesome. I'm just so excited. I need to come up with ideas for the booth. We need to come up with ideas. So when and where is Renovation says Maria. Maria, um, Maria, it is in Phoenix, Arizona. And it is like the 18th, something like the 18th of January, something like that anyway. So look, did you see how easy that was? I still think that I will just purchase the narrower one. There's a 12 mil one. 
So I'm going to do that, which will save me a lot of bother. But that will help me. <laughs> when is it? Um, if I can make it, I'd love to help you out. Oh, Ian, that would be amazing. I, I'm actually just this. Creativation is just going to be one big massive party, I think. <laughs> There's just so many um, amazing crafty people that I just cannot wait to, to hang out with, really. Hee hee hee. Okay, so I know that this guy is going to be like here. So I want this your hoot to be like here, I think. Let me trim off the edges. <laughs> have you tried baking sheets i think baking sheets are very similar to this that's certainly what um i i knew these as baking sheets before i knew them as craft mats so anyone who's new here this is my trick for lining up panels i take the, the guts out of my misty and then scooch everything up against the, the corner. Oh, don't go down just yet because I want you to go in here. Cool beans, okay. A couple of little pieces of foam behind this guy. And do you know what? This card's nearly done. And if it's done, and I've done one card in half an hour, how quick is that? Amazing! <laughs> Bunny says, oh my gosh, you should have applied to the design team. Yes, you should have. Absolutely. Oh, well, I've got an amazing team. I am happy, happy, chappy. And a um, couple of the team today got their design team packages, which is amazing because, well, I started, I set up like a Royal Mail business account thing, but it's really not like, it's not intuitive. I think I need a business account for dummies kind of situation going on, but, um, I was a bit wary that it wasn't working, but but it must have because it reached them. Yay! That's like a day after my birthday, says Lisa. Yes, go and celebrate your birthday. That would be the best ever. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do something that I haven't done in a long time. There's going to be some um, revolt, potentially. I think I'm going to add some googly eyes. <laughs> googly eyes are one of those things where some people love them some people hate them I, I think they really have to like sometimes they look weird and they don't look cute but I think this guy can pull it off Sometimes it's all about the sizing. Let's have a look. Oh, baking parchment like wax paper. Right, okay, I understand now. So a um, baking, what's it called? Baking paper, like on the roll? That's a better idea, because then you could just do a little thin strip, couldn't you? Yeah, baking paper. Yeah, Elizabeth, you're right. Ooh, no revolt. I love them googly eyes. <laughs> Ian says, love googly eyes. Yes! Getting you guys all on board with the Googles. I've got a little... I've got bigger ones here as well, but I think they're going to look too weird. Let's have a look. I think he looks kind of cute with those ones. He looks like he's got a bit more personality. What do you think? Size matters, says Amanda. I love the combination of one big, one small. I don't think I could bring myself to do that. I'm a bit too peculiar like that. Let's see. We'll have to take a poll. No, you see, I could maybe do that if the inside was the same size. 
just looks like he's been beat up. Little or big? Little or big? Little or big? Bigger, bigger. Oh, Barb's here. No, 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 no. This is quite interesting seeing you guys get all worked up. <laughs> Put these over here. Little or big? Big. Ooh. Too many choices. Big, little, big, little. Okay, okay. We have to make a decision. Let me scroll up. Um, let's see. Nancy, are you still here? Nancy, are you here or have you gone to work? If you're here, little or big? Uh, Nancy's not here. Lisa, little or big? You said little. Okay, little. Little it is. Oh gosh, there's too much people talking now. Bigger, bigger. Owls normally have big eyes. He needs the big eyes to spot the mice and other food. <laughs> you guys. Okay, I need to find some blue anyway. So it's big, right? Nancy, little or big eyes? You are the deciding vote. Do we want big Googles or little Googles? Little or big? <laughs> Excellent um, <laughs> interaction happening here. Karen Shanahan is here as well. The bigger are really cute. Nancy, now you are in. Oh, <laughs> good, big. Guys, we're going for big. Nancy has spoken. What big eyes you have. Now you know what it's like to have all the pressure on me. <laughs> All right, let's stick these on. They're cute. Uh, I think he was cute either way. You're a hoot. He's a sweetie. Okay, card one down. 36 minutes in. I am killing it. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Nancy was getting dressed. Let me put away these little baby Googles for now. Okay, so... World Card Making Day is tomorrow and over on our design team little group we were chatting away and Crystal was like hey why don't we have a digital stamp a free digital stamp to give away as a celebration for World Card Making Day so I was like yep yeah, perfect I mean awesome I love being inspired like that and um, so we made a plan and I drew a stamp. So I drew this little guy with a post box and I showed it to Crystal and she was like, what is that? And I was like, it's a post box. And she was like, oh, it's a British post box. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I, like I'm my untraveled brain. I didn't like see that as a post box. And I was like, okay she said i'm sure it's just me it's like okay cool and then i put it up on the design team group and um someone was like what what is that i was like it's a po okay we need two <laughs> so then i went away and i drew one of these so actually tomorrow we're going to have two digi stamps <laughs> we're going to have this one and we're going to have this one so we've got um, a little iconic British one and then we've also got one which hopefully will be a bit more recognizable to some of you but I just thought it was the funniest thing ever so I've got this card that I have made for the um, post tomorrow and some of the rest of the team have added their cards as well this was a bit of a funny story because I, well, two, two things really. I was making it and you may have seen on Instagram that I pulled out 
some heat resistant acetate that turned out to not be heat resistant. So then I went in and I pulled out some different um, acetate and it also was not heat resistant acetate. So third time lucky. And then the other thing, which was a bit of a whoopsie, but you know, you know me, just go with it, um, was that I put two layers of foam tape, forgetting about the fact that I specifically bought the three mil foam tape, so I didn't have to do two. <laughs> I didn't have to do two layers. So um, I was just like crafting because I've been staring at a computer screen for so long that. Um, I was just on autopilot so I did two layers and then was like this is like the thickest card in the world I know what I'll do I'll put buttons on the inside and it looks cute so as long as I don't have to mail it and you know ship it <laughs> anywhere for the weight and the size but I think he's cute anyway so you're gonna get two digi stamps tomorrow but I'm gonna use this little guy today Hey, Crystal's here. Hey. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you guys like it. So I used my, I used my Copics on, on that one. So I was thinking of maybe cracking out my Zigs for this one. Now I know Zigs kind of work best on a Bristol kind of paper this is not bristol i printed it onto what is the word the word is um claire fontaine dcp paper um and i i had great results with my copic so i don't know it is really smooth a bit like a a bit like a bristol so I'm just gonna work, I'm just gonna go for it. Um, I only got these zigs a little while ago, so I'm not particularly well versed in them. But we'll see how it goes. <laughs> I love how thick it is. Well, my, my card. <laughs> I think it's going to be a little bit on the beefy side it's all right make it work that's pretty much my mantra these days make it work this one time piper was getting dressed and she had a she had a pair of jeans and they were a bit tight but you know when you be your kids you've got that elastic on the side and she was like mommy can you can you adjust her? I said, yeah, sure. She was only about three. And um, and she said, maybe we can move it one more. And I was like, I think that's on the, like the loosest it can go. I think maybe you've just grown too much. And she was like, well, if that doesn't work, well, just make it work, mommy. Isn't that right? I said, yes, child. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Concentration mode. I was like looking forward to these for so long and I haven't really played with them much. I think I need to play with them a little bit more. Get used to them. My hubby is going to want me to make pink bears. Why? Is there a story you want to share, Bunny? What's with the pink bears? Tell us, do. I saw your that you had some cute little bears on with well, Instagram or Facebook or something like that. Oh, I'm not sure how this is turning out. It's looking a bit saturated, a bit blocky. You have to dry a second. German mailboxes look different than both of the other two. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Tally says I had trouble with water. Uh, it's okay at the moment. I've got a little bleeding down here, but I think that was due to not paying attention rather than anything else. Also, somebody said to me that for digital stamps, you have to print on, uh, what's it called, laser? Like you have to print laser for digital stamps or if you're going to use Copics. 
which I had no idea that was even a thing. But I managed kind of fine. Maybe I was just careful or lucky or maybe it was the paper that helped. I don't know. We have two pink bears we travel with. Oh, that's cool. We have a little, um, our friends, that are my school friends, we have this little knitted doll thing. And every time we meet up, we bring the, the little knitted doll. And we also have a book, like a scrapbook thing, that every time we meet up, we, we crack out the colored gel pens, you know, retro style. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure my co my colouring is working on this paper. This might pill. It does feel like it's getting a bit saturated. If you iron or heat set the inkjet, you can use more mediums on it without bleeding. There you go. That's a really useful tip from Crafty Sous. They don't call it Crafty Sous for nothing. That's fun. I had a lavender filled bear I used to put over my eyes for migraines. You can't wash them, no. I bought, because it's got actual like lavender in it, hasn't it? Mm -mm -mm. What should we go for now? Cool grey. What's this one? Grey tint. So has anybody gone over to the shop yet or gone over to the web page? You have to tell me how amazing it is because I've been sitting staring at it all week fighting with margins and there was a couple of things that I spoke to <laughs> spoke to our developer about and he was like is the if, if it's good enough for now just, just pretend it works and then we'll fix it once we're like we've got it all sorted okay oh, I can't believe we just did that it's just pilled Okay, so we've learned that DCP is not a friend of Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers. I think I'll leave him to the side for a little bit to, to cool off. Move on to a different part of my project yeah it's not really meant for wet mediums I probably should have gone for a a watercolor or something like that so let's see what shall we do with this any requests tonight Last week, whenever you were requesting the light up jack o' lantern, I was really impressed with myself. I was really pleased with how it all turned out. That was fun. Okay. So I thought that what I might do is use this. Um, scalloped um, die from Lawn Fawn. It's really sweet, really cute. I think I'll use that tonight. If you don't mix, um, mm -mm. if you don't mix too much and let it dry, you might be all right. Okay, we'll check. Oh, Elizabeth says she checked out the shop and it looks good. Yay! The thing is, it's really basic, but whenever we we got it and, and I don't know like the the default settings are just so many 
and things happen that you don't expect it to happen. So it was almost as if most of the work was simplifying it. <laughs> but we get there in the end. Basic is easy to navigate, absolutely. Basic is better. Okay, so I've pulled out some stamps here that I had thought would work really, really cute with this. I've got, they're both from Simon Says Stamp actually. Um, actually they're both from a different one, which is called Sending and Wishing. So it says, wishing we live closer because I miss you. And I thought that was really sweet. So I'm going to put that on here. But I was thinking of maybe doing like a layer of vellum or doing some inking in the background. Let me see. Let me fussy cut this out. Oh, I can feel how wet it is. Have to go easy. Fingers crossed the gremlins are locked away. Oh my gosh, yes. Don't talk about the gremlins, they'll hear us. I really don't like gremlins. I've never liked gremlins. Well, I liked Gizmo, the gremlin, the cute one. And when I was a kid, I had a teddy, which was a gizmo. And I loved it. And my cousin, Haley also got one she was years younger than me and she this is such a weird story I don't know why I'm sharing it she would suck her thumb so she would suck her thumb and she would hold gizmo under her arm here or here and she would like pluck the fur off gizmo and then tuck it in here and then while she was sucking her th thumb she would tickle her nose with the um the fur oh sorry snow gremlins is a um a movie a horror movie is probably a little bit strong um i'm sure if you google it it'll come up but for i whenever we have issues with internet or anything like that i always call it the gremlins for whenever I was in work um, and we had to maintain a comms room with all my wires and things, if there was any issues, I would always say that there was gremlins. The gremlins got into the comms room. Usually it was just a cable, the little clip on the cable had broke off or it was loose or something. But anyway, so Haley had this gizmo, which is the name of the nice gremlin in the movie. Um, but she totally plucked him until he was just like netting. Every single bit of fluff was plucked off it. So then I had to force, well, I was forced to, <laughs> I was forced to donate my gizmo to my much younger kid cousin, even though I didn't really want to at the time. But I have become a better person for that selfless act. <laughs> I think a charmed episode had a gremlin in it. Probably. How funny is that? <laughs> that is so funny. Okay, let's see what we can do here. I'm not loving my, my colouring and I don't think I've printed this again. Craig, print me another one. I do have a tiny one that I could perhaps use that I had I had shrunk it down. That's the good thing about digi stamps is that you can shrink it down a little. Let's see. Mm -mm -mm. Wishing you live closer. Right, let's get some colour on here. <laughs> it's an adorable story though. <laughs> Hold on, what does Ian say? It's dark comedy. 
Yeah, when I watched it, I was absolutely terrified of it. As a child, I should add, absolutely terrified. And whenever you watch it as an adult, you realize that there is a lot of humor in it or a bit like tongue in cheek stuff. But no, I was absolutely terrified. It was horrible. Do you know what it is? It's their slimy skin. I don't even want to talk about it. I'm going to stop talking about it because I'm going to get all heebie jeebies. Here's my other thing gone to. I do this every week. Lose, lose a. Lose a magnet. <laughs> Pretty scared when I was a little kid. It's showing my age right now. Yeah. In pro Ian's young. He probably watched it as an adult. Like, or, yeah. You probably watched it on, like, when it's on Christmas. Yeah, so 1984. So, well, I don't know how old I would have been, actually, because I was born in 82. That is not stamping good. Thank goodness I've found Misty. Ladies, don't forget, and gentle peeps, don't forget the hashtag your creations with Heffy Doodle WCMD. Yes. All the details will be over on the bloggy blog tomorrow, the Heffy Doodle blog. I'm really excited to see what everybody will make. I'm not sure if this is a problem with the stamp. I think it might be. Let me mooch it. Oh yeah, there's a little thing on the E that isn't connecting properly. So shout out to Crystal because she has been absolutely amazing. Crystal, I've been a bit worried because Crystal and I are on different time zones. So um, during the day, I will message Crystal. <laughs> just things that come into my head and then every so often I'm like oh poor crystal probably wakes up and her phone is just like an absolute bling 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 notification crazy town um, from my messages that that kind of happened to me with um like whenever well actually for for a while now when I would go to bed um when I'm going to bed and America is up and, and getting at it type of thing. And Craig used to always complain that my phone was just blinging all night or vibrating if it was on the side. So he would put my phone on like, do not disturb and put it on with a pillow. It's a fantastic wake up call. <laughs> oh, bless you. <laughs> Thank you for lying. <laughs> oh, bless you. Yeah. I, the thing is, these guys who, who have been watching for a while will know, like, if I don't, if I have something in my head and I don't get it out there at that time, I there's just no telling when it's going to come back is the problem. <laughs> at night, the phone goes in airplane mode. Oh, I, could, I don't think I could do that. Because, I don't know, could I? I don't know. I say that I don't think I could do that. But I'm also the kind of person who just puts her phone down and then doesn't doesn't look at it for all day. Or, like I said, Craig will put his put my phone on Do Not Disturb. I'll not realise it's on Do Not Disturb until about halfway through the day when I pick up my phone and realise that it has got. A million missed calls. Oh, here comes Craig, he's busting me. <laughs> okay. Hiya! Are you going to print me a new one? Yay! Okay, one second, guys. Um, Craig, go and craft something. Phil, yeah. <laughs> craft something, do it. Just pretend. Okay, I'm going to print a new one. Two seconds, guys. <laughs> what are they saying? Yeah. Yeah, what's that, Craig? No! <laughs> 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 you punk. 
Okay. Is it done? Um, I haven't clicked print yet because I'm going to give you a different piece of card because I think there's only paper in the thing. Do that and go and press print and bada boom. Thank you. You're the best. He's the best. Has to be said. Craig for crafting. Yeah, go Craig. I think he'd be a bit panicky about that. Um, so the funny thing is that um, I'll use these as sizing oh I knew what I wanted to do I wanted to do another um little critter like looking up looking up at him wouldn't that be cute um and I thought maybe like one of the little birdies so thoughts guys your opinion please do I want a little lawn fawn birdie this guy or Where's the other one that I thought would be cute? Little bunny. This guy. Would that be cute? I love mixing and matching my stamps. Yay! His nails are so well manicured. Yeah, it's because he doesn't do nothing. <gasps> That's such a lie. And he's listening, so I can't say that. <laughs> he just has really nice nails. My nails break all the time. Plus, you know, they're covered in ink. Birdie, birdie, bunny. Mm. We are a nation of divided people tonight. <laughs> I'm going to have to stamp both, aren't I? And then we're going to have to take it from there. A nation divided. It might all boil down to which one I've got the die for. <laughs> Who is saying, I hope he's okay? Who is okay? My father-in-law was very ill last night and my mother-in-law called us at three with his emergency, which is why I have on. Oh no, is he okay? I feel like that's going to be a bit close. Yeah, I think that's the kind of thing that I panic about. Guys, I'm going to zoom out, or at least I'm going to zoom out when Craig gets back in, because I think it's super dark. Darker than normal. We have a home phone. A home phone? What's a home phone? I, um, yeah, we do not have a home phone. Whenever we get a form and you have to fill out a home phone, home phone we're like Pfft. do people do that do people still do that I think I'm going to go back to my Copics you know I need to practice off camera with my with my, my zig, zigaroonies let's see what we've got here yeah, we don't we don't have a home phone. And in fact, well, we we got a home phone number like free or you had to have it when you got a certain package. And no, we never give it to anyone. I couldn't tell you what it was. We just got junk calls on it. Rubbish. Thank you. Oh, he is a bit big, isn't he? Let me see. He's not going to fit on my card. He's like the size of the card. <laughs> Let's try that again. <laughs> Craig fell. Fell my copics. <laughs> Let's see. Try to do 50%. That'll work. Might not be the same size as what I have. I could just do it the old fashioned way and open up Photoshop. Hmm? Don't make it neon, Craig. Oh, you're doing that one. That's fine. Oh, yeah. I was going to tell everybody about the fact that um, you're like the only person that gets a shop book card. Because <laughs> you're special. Um, but then you're supposed to make me cards, but you didn't make me a card for my birthday this year. 
No, you got me that one with like um, with a cat and a dog that were married. Do you remember? Oh, yeah. And I was like, "What? Cat and a dog?" And then we realised that that actually was probably quite apt. How's he doing, guys? Is he doing good? Yep, darker stuff and then blend it in. Craig, can you zoom me out a bit? Because it's a bit dark on the screen. Mm -hmm. So you can do that as well. That'll keep you out of trouble for a second. I can't believe I was like all organized for once and, and then um, had it all printed and everything. And messed it up. I thought she was a bit further. <laughs> okay. I'm going to do multiple on the same page so we can piper or colour them in or something. Hmm? Look, look, that's good, that's good. <laughs> How on earth do you manage to get him to participate? Yeah. Well done. You're going to blend it out with like a mid tone? No. no. Okay. <laughs> do you want another piece of paper? We'll leave it here, and when you want to come back, yeah. it'll be ready for you. Well done. Oh, he's the best. <laughs> Lizzie has plenty of card tutorials and all the supplies, so no excuse. Absolutely. Did I tell you guys how um, friends of ours came to visit? And it's one of those things where it's my friend got married and then Craig and my friend's husband just like became best buddies. So he talks to Richard more than, than I talk to Rebecca because they play Xbox together and stuff. So they came to visit and <laughs> he was like, yeah, let, let's play, let's play the Xbox. And Rich was like, no, I want to go on craft. Like I want to go on, do some crafting with Lacey. So Richard came out and did crafting with me. It was fun. Craig was like, are you not finished yet? Are you not finished yet? Oh, I think he should have been blue, but then my, th my mailbox is blue. Eh? He stays inside the lines better than I do, <laughs> says Bunny Dobby. <laughs> wow. He's got, got an audience, so he has to try his best, doesn't he? Let's see what we've got. Okay. I have a die for this, which hasn't even been used. There, I shows you how much I've used that one. I always feel a bit sad whenever I find dies that I haven't cut apart. I feel like they haven't been given the love that I should have been giving them. <laughs> I looked away for a sec and came back and thought, mm, Lizzie's going very slowly. <laughs> oh. He was um, doing a good job of filling. <laughs> He just needs his own design team head on now. Yes, um, I'm not sure if oh, um, if that's going to happen. When I was making the little taglines for all of the Heffy Doodle projects for the design team members, Maria was saying that we need one for, for Craig. His exact words are, it's a sad day if uh, you need me to fill in on the blog, like post CHA when everyone comes down with exhibition flu or something. <laughs> Bless him. I think he'd be good if he just did it though. Okay, so you belong in there. Back up on my little railing. <laughs> Chief Doodle Junior. Yeah. There we 
girl. I'm not sure about that. No, I don't think he would actually doodle any of the stamps. He's a harsh, fairly harsh critic though. You'd be like, yeah, that doesn't look right. But that's good because that's what you need. You can have my design team spot. Oh no, what have I just done? I must have not stuck it down and get distracted. Well then. Well then. I'm going to have to do it a different way. Do it the old fashioned way where I, I don't even know whether that is the old fashioned way, but certainly a bit more of a foolproof way. This is actually a really fun way if you um, if you have lots of teeny weeny images. That works. Works a lot better if you've got lots of teeny ones. I did that with um, some honeybee stamps, li little tiny leaves. I needed a project. I was making a wreath. It was a beautiful car, but it just took forever. Forever and a day. Sorted? Yeah, printed on the wrong side. Printed on the wrong side. That'll do. Make it work, Craig. Hi, thank you. All right, you can borrow my pen. That's no bother. <laughs> likely story that's how i always stamp mine says snow yeah i had you guys saw me last week that i pulled out this yellow one i had a blue one beforehand and the blue one was actually stickier it was definitely stickier i've had a couple of things move since using that yellow one so I'm wondering if that is part of the problem okay so we're back to our bears with our mailbox so one's a post box one's a mailbox <laughs> the older MFT ones are solid. Yes, they are. So they're a bit harder to, well, pretty much impossible, in fact, to line up. So you have to kind of cut it out first. Okay, let's see. So I'll have a little W3, just a tiny bit. W1. And W0. And this is the cutest bunny. Any thoughts on what color this guy should be? Or maybe he's not going to be part of the show anyway. That feels better. For sure it feels better. I actually can't remember what color exactly a post box is in America. Are these, is it darker than this? I googled it so that I could draw it. But that was about the extent of my research. 
I actually don't think I've ever posted anything in a post box from America. Blue. Those blue ones are the public ones. This kind of blue. Is it a dark, dark blue? Doing a little tip to tip ha happen in here. So is anybody out there actually crafting tonight? Or are you all saving yourself for the World Card Making Day tomorrow? I'm not even sure if I'll get to craft tomorrow because it's... Um, I need to go and make sure that all my, my stuff, my blog post for the... for my digi stamp is up and on... Um, hungry heavy crafts and I need to also make sure that my honeybee stamps project and chibitronics project is sorted as well we're spending time doing that today for a little bit I think the light one is too light. If I do this too much though, I think you won't be able to see mail. So I'll let that dry a little minute and see how that works. <laughs> I'm crafting tonight. Oh, hold on. Donna says that she's been organizing her stamps. Gabby is crafting. It's my birthday tomorrow. What's her um what's her car like? And um Ian is working 14 hours. That sounds horrid. We'll be thinking of ya. That is no fun. I'm going to be staring at my shop, praying that there's no bugs happening. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> Okay, what color shall I make my bear? I kind of like my bear that I did the, the um, what is it? Y R thirty one, I think it is. Yeah, wire twenty three and wire thirty one. I like these ones. I think I'll do that again. Jonah has been um, making cards and wedding favors. Ooh, I always like knowing what people have for wedding favors. It's like a big thing, isn't it? Trying to decide what to do. Although I think
Let's help us, Master Greg. Sorted? I already cooked one. <laughs> <laughs> we, we good? Are we back? Cool. My mic died. Earlier, Craig was like, You're lucky I charged the bat. You can go now, Craig. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Like, you're under there if the other one dies. Okay, thank you. So, you're lucky I charge batteries. And I was like, I am lucky, Craig, that you charge batteries. And then, about two seconds later, he came in and went, Yeah, I put them in the charger. <laughs> But I didn't actually turn it on. <laughs> so he was like, I don't know whether it's going to last or not. And it didn't. <laughs> Where is my grey tone? I don't know, is this... In America, is it like a blue flap or is it just a hole? I think it's a blue flap. I don't know why I'm saying that. I'm gonna pretend it's a blue, bluish flap anyway. I'm gonna guess that most people will know what that is. <laughs> Yay! Kelly um, Latavola, I think that's how you say her name colors flowers beautifully mm. and Alton you do amazing floral stamps they're just gorgeous let's cut out this little guy so for the benefit of people who Oh wait, is t was it today? Oh, I don't know whether it's saying it was on today or tomorrow. Anyway, for the benefit of people who um, have just joined, it is World Card Making Day coming up tomorrow. And over at the Hefe Doodle blog, we are celebrating with a digital stamp or two. There's two. Um, and this is the stamp. So you get a little, little bear with an envelope posting a letter, which is a card, obviously. Um, and then there is a American style mailbox. And then there's also a British style mailbox, which is on this card, which I will be sharing on the Heffy Doodle blog tomorrow. Well, technically Crystal sharing it because she is Taking charge of that tomorrow. She's done such a great job. I'm so lucky to have her. And I'm gonna go and visit her in her house before creativation if I can. <laughs> blue flap, cool. Blue, pl blue flap, good. So I didn't mess it up. Not that it really matters. Because it's a card. I remember whenever we were at uni and we were playing <laughs> playing a computer game with Craig's fat mate and I don't know what it was called but it was like a basketball-esque thing but it was like space agey I don't understand how I don't know how to explain it anyway so you could like hover in the air and stuff and um, his fat mate was like, the lack of physics in this game really annoys me. And we were like, it's, it's a computer game. It doesn't have to obey the laws of physics. It's like cartoons. Like cartoons have their own laws of physics. For example, you can run off the edge of the cliff and keep going. And then the moment you realize there's no ground underneath you, that's when gravity kicks in. That is the, the ACME laws of physics. And, and also, if you are approaching a wall which has a tunnel painted on it, then it is a tunnel as long as you believe it's a tunnel. Or as long as you know it's not a tunnel, it is a tunnel, maybe. Do you think the bunny, or shall we colour in the, the dude? Let's colour him in so we've got an option. He 
It was like NBA Jam. Yeah. It was funny. Okay. Cute little guy. Sad to say I understand his logic on that one. <laughs> That will work but we need some color behind so I think we need I might do a little bit of like either ink blending or masking thoughts please I'll open it up to my committee of crafty individuals please don't fight this time <laughs> yeah well that's okay because I'll keep my bunny for another day I shall put him in my my envelope of things to use another day. Oh, ink blending, ink blending. Um, okay, so I've been doing a lot of brush blending recently, which I really enjoy. Um, and I also like Oh, I could do some smooshing. This is where I should plan because of it. I just go like, oh, I could do this or this or this or this. <laughs> the bird can sit on top. Oh, that would be cute, but we need the different bird. We'd need the bird to look down. Like one of the, this bird. Wouldn't we need that bird up down there? We'll just give it a go. This is what I love about the stream is getting everybody's opinions. And they say many hands make light work, but also I think like that's the one one of the things about being in a team, isn't it? Is that everyone has different strengths and everyone sees things in different ways. which is fun. Ink blending. Although our post boxes look like a sort of a mix between the two red shape, like the USA one on a post red shaped, red shaped like the USA one on a post sometimes not. Oh, on a post as in, I was thinking post as in post box on like a pole thing. Sometimes not. It was funny because whenever we shared the, um, the, the digi images like on the design team or people from like all over so, so we then just had this series of posting pictures of post boxes and mailboxes apparently they're quite there's quite a variety mm -hmm. are these stamps new simon this is a digital stamp that we are giving away tomorrow over on um heffy doodle so there's this, but also, also this. I do the British one, and then some of my American crafty friends were like, "What? What is that?" <laughs> so I was like, "Okay, let's draw a different one as well, so that um, people aren't scratching their heads all over the globe." Which is, it's just one of those things that you just never even really think of. Of course, it could be cultural differences. So ink blending. So um, Snow had a card, um, show me a card that had like red and pink inks. But what I might do is add some stencils and then blend on top. I could do some hearts. What else have I got in here? I quite like the falling hearts, that's nice. I have an idea what I'll do with mine, says Donna. Tell us, tell us, tell us. <laughs> the 
so exciting. Oh, guys, I have cars to show you. Where are them? <laughs> Someone sent me a card. Oh, here it is. Someone sent me a card. Look at this. I got a card made with heavy noodle stamps. Isn't that so cool? Maria sent me one um, a few weeks ago, which had um, like a one of the cute raccoons from Long Fun and then the little cookie jar. And it was amazing. It's still actually on my mantelpiece. But then this came and it's like, whoa, like to get a card made with heavy noodle. It's just, oh, it's just nuts, amazing. What do we think then? Sorry, it's a zero. <laughs> Bless you. Okay, let's do some blendy blendy. And I'm not going to um, I'm not gonna stick them down. I'm not gonna colour that other guy until I've blended because I may change my mind about my colours. But I will put some tape on the back of this so it doesn't move. Hopefully it doesn't move anyway. Okay. I'm going to go for some pinks and a little red. So, spun sugar for sure. And, um, pick raspberry also for sure. And then at the top, maybe a little abandoned coral. I always think it looks a bit neon on the packet, but then it's not that bad in real life, I don't think. I need post-it tape like that. Yeah, it's really handy. It lasts for ages and ages. So I was happy with it. Although, like I said, this one just seems to be not as tacky as before. is distressing. I've got colour on my um, mat. I can tell I'm bringing it in. So I'm starting with some sponge sugar. Kind of about three quarters of the way down. And then let's take some picked raspberry. Festive berries. You want festive berries instead of abandoned coral? Okay, okay. Your wish is my command. Festive berries is lovely, but man, is it red and does it get everywhere? Do you guys find that? Like it's so intense. Like if you get it on your fingers or something, it's just crazy bad, crazy nuts. Let me grab it. Oh, that's can No, it's candied apple I was thinking about. Festive berries. Oh. Oh, there we go. Festive berries. Fired brick. Who was doing that? Me, it was me. Hmm. I can only imagine that Festive Berries has not seen much love because of a labelling error. It was Candied Apple I was thinking of, by the way, not Festive Berries, the one that gets everywhere.
I go in, change those tops around. <gasps> it was you. Abandoned coral is orange. Yeah, well, it's kind of like a coral color, right? You would think. <laughs> My wishing is kind of getting lost there. I might have to um, emboss over the top. Blendy, blendy. It's payback for something. Else. <laughs> oh, need a dinner and everything. Pink it up. Snow is saying that I should pink up my red a bit more. There we go. She knows her stuff. So, part of me wants to, um, like spray it but then I want to maybe spray it with this on top so that I get the like the negative come out hmm thoughts this looks like it's dead I need to invest in some more blendy sponges hey I saw on um have you, are you guys part of that Facebook group, Stamp Junkies? The, um, the, this, this person put on this, like, fabric fold-out thing that held blending foam things that looked really sweet. Really sweet. Let's get rid of some of this before I start spraying things. If you were here last week, you know that I, um, accidentally... <laughs> watercolored the um, monitor which Craig was not too keen about <laughs> let's see a couple more blips I want some over here Hi Martina, Karen, oh Karen's cards, um, they are the same shape as the English ones, what is the Ir um, Irish are the same shape as as the like ones on the mainland over here, um, but they, but they're green, that's nice, fun fact, some of our post boxes are gold, they sprayed them um, if Olympic gold medalists live nearby. I didn't even know that. Let's see what we've got here then, guys. So do we want a little guy looking up? He's far too yellow now, I'm thinking. Maybe he needs to be a little pink bird or something. Or a little guy looking down. What do you reckon? That's why he changed that. <laughs> I missed last week as we were on holidays at the beach, glamping as we stood in a cabin. <laughs> it's been ages since we've been camping. I really need to do that. Probably not going to be this side of summer, <laughs> next summer. Let's grab a card blank.
Both birds are fun. Top, top. Lots of different options happening. <laughs> so what I think I'll do is put the I'll put the outside on first. try and line it up properly like that and then I think what I'll do is I'll raise this up with a piece of foam so I'm going to a piece of foam or just some foam I'll just use foam tape because I need to use up this beastly one I need to get rid of it so then I can have an excuse to buy to buy more of the one that I actually like <laughs> My internet keeps going slow and now the comments are ahead of what I see. Oh no. What you can sometimes do is by like the pause button, there should be a button that says live. And if you click on it, it like refreshes the feed. And that might catch you up, I'm hoping. So also for anyone else who is newly joined we have announced the heffy doodle design team this week and we have had a new look to heffydoodle.com and da, 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 our shop is finally open so i'm excited but nervous about like the first purchase and making sure that it all works okay and everything but how exciting what a milestone huh I've just read it lays the border makes it look like a poster. Do you know what? I totally have a die that is like a postage stamp die and I should have used that. Well, there you go. You guys have all got ideas now. I've managed to get my fingers all over it. Oh man, I am not on par today. But that's okay, because I know you'll forgive me. Some little glue dots. Be sure to check your email after the stream. I shall. Oh, exciting! I was so panicking, Simon, that you didn't get your package. Um, I was saying earlier that I, I just got I signed up for like a new Royal Mail business account thing, and it doesn't. It, it, wow. It's not very intuitive, so I couldn't t looked everything looked okay, but uh, it was like one of the first things I sent, so I was panicking a little bit that it it was sent wrong or something. I messed it up, but I guess not. Whoop, whoop. Okay. Oh, it arrived fast. Yay. That makes me happy. Especially because um, I'm sending out the design team packages for the design teams as well. And they can't really make very much unless they've got the product. But it's all good. I'm still looking up post boxes. <laughs> um, who, which one did we say was... Um, there was one that we said was like really had really bold prints was it the german one or something i can't remember and i had oh it was canada canada mail was like words all over it and i was like oh look at this and it's bold print i think we said on top but i don't know what color we want teal i'm a bit reluctant to bring another color into the mix 
but teal is like the best color that there is ever so i don't think that could be wrong simon are you going to create a vision you might be at school i suppose whenever it's happening I wanted Craig to come with as well, but um, Piper is of course at school, so so that's not going to be possible. But I'll have Crystal, and um, I'm sure there'll be plenty of heavy doodlers that'll help help with all the shenanigans. Yeah, wishing we live closer because I miss you and you, my friend. Get to go live with the bunny. Okay, so we definitely need some sort of crystals or gems or something on here. Oh, hopefully still working out some of the details. Yay! I need to, I need to put my flight and I need to also do my accommodation. I haven't sorted that out yet either. Because I was waiting to see if we could exhibit which we can and we are and it's excited and um i also didn't know like how long if i'm exhibiting how long like in advance do i need to be there i still don't quite know the answer to that question i think i'm just gonna go for some pearlies Are you going to the craft fair? Is there a craft fair in Australia? Where's the craft fair, Elizabeth? Oh, my fingers are just getting in the way today. Brisbane, yep, both weekend days. Oh, cool. I think I might add a little teal one as well to bring in some of that teal bird color. Oops, oh, there it is. Thanks, Lizzie. We'll try that. Oh, you must just be hearing me say about the clicking of the live button. Did it work? Did it, did it, did it? Oh, I forgot I had them. Cute. Look, gold. Happens to me all the time. gems and darken up the eyes on this little birdie with my glaze pen and then I, I kind of want to put some glossy accents on the heart but I'm not going to do it just now because I have a tendency to um, put my finger in it <laughs> so I won't do that just now Okay, next up, what is next? Let's see what else I am inspired to do. I think I might make another one. Like, I really like these envelope ones, so I might do some like emboss resist. I do enjoy a good emboss resist. Is there any? Any requests? Any little 
bits of inspiration any challenges for me if so please do shout you know that I shall do my bestest to rise to the occasion if not I shall just tidy up my ink pads and then move on to another one sure that I get my uh, corrected label on that. I can't believe I hadn't realised that I had two that said fired brick. Strange girl. Okie dokies. So this is the Sending Happy Thoughts stamp set from Simon Says Stamp. It's actually a, quite an old one, but I it's one of those ones that I end up going back to over and over again. I think it's the envelopes. And also a nice scripty font, which is pretty. Pretty, pretty. I'm gonna grab another acrylic block if I can. There it is. This one's cute, it's like got the little tie on it. Like a, you know, um, when you're shipping documents, that kind of thing. So let's see what we can do here. Oh, Lizzie, that worked as now I see a different stamp set. Yay! Perfect. So, the challenge when you're doing this technique is the fact that you can hardly see where the things are stamping, and I'm sure it looks like a completely blank screen and completely got blank, blank project for you guys but I promise there's a super faint shiny line on there oh I should totally um do that with colored cardstock I've not done that in ages and ages and ages you know whenever you use um Versamark on colored cardstock and it um, it literally like makes a watermark. That's kind of what it was meant for, wasn't it? Versa mark. It was designed for that purpose rather than anything else. I think for creating like a watermark. And then someone discovered that it was the perfect thing for embossing. I assume that's what happened anyway. Just making up history. But everybody else does that. History's invented, I think. <laughs> Don't they say history is written by the winners? Something to that effect. I'm trying to see um trying to take a look so that I don't put the same thing next to one another, but it's not as um it's not as easy as you might think. nearly there though and that is a baby one cool can you see that yay 
Yay, Simon's crafting along with us. Woohoo! Filming an important video for tomorrow. Oh, exciting. <laughs> I am excited. I always love it whenever people are crafting along. Kind of wish people could actually just come and like come into the craft room and that would be way more exciting, I think. I don't think I've ever really crafted very much with people before. Apart from that time Richard came over and crafted me instead of playing computer games with Craig. <laughs> One of these does not want to take its embossing powder. Excuse me. A gentle blow. And a gentle tickle with a soft paintbrush. Too bad. Okay, I'm going to mute the, you guys so that I can uh, put on my heat tool. Be right back. I'm back. Sorry that took longer than expected because I dropped my piece of paper. I was like, I wish you guys could have seen what an idiot I was. Standard. It happens. It happens a lot on a Friday night when you're feeling pooped. I'm going to do some ink motion. Okay, let me grab a piece of packaging from somewhere. And I'm gonna go for some bright colors today. I'm gonna go over for some mustard seed. At least to start with. You would have no room left to work if I was there because I spread out over the two. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Tally's off to bed. Night, girl. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Smoosh, smoosh, smoosh. 
I do enjoy a good smish, it has to be said. It always looks like a mess and then you're like, oh, it's so pretty. <gasps> Did I tell you guys we're getting a gerbil? I think I told you guys last week or the week before about how I was trying to convince Craig that we should get a gerbil, specifically a fat tailed gerbil or Dupressi. And I have wore him down. Yay, we're getting a gerbil. So that is exciting for me. Piper doesn't know yet, um, mainly because we have to wait for the gerbil to be born. So we're on a waiting list with the breeder. Which is really, really exciting for me. I cannot wait. And um, there's been, there's been um, some discussion over what it should be called. Well, we kind of had a discussion with Piper, but it was a hypothetical thing. And it was a, like a week or two ago. So I don't think she thought anything of it. <laughs> Which is so fun. <laughs> um, but we'll see. <laughs> Heffy. No, um, that's not, I think that would be confusing. <laughs> or doodle. Did, uh, Crystal, did I tell you that in Australia, what, what um, doodle is commonly? <laughs> no, that's, I don't think I, after knowing that, I don't think I could ever call a creature that. <laughs> I blame Elizabeth, because she was the one that told me, I think. Was it you, Elizabeth, that told me? So funny. Smoosh, smoosh, smoosh. Crystal, did you get your videos done? Crystal was on a video video a thon today. Let's see. Doesn't it feel like whenever you're doing some smooshing? It looks like one of those, what's the column is it? Ah, oh, what's it called? Like a raw shot or something? Those ink blot things where it's like, what do you see here? Bye, Crystal, bye. <laughs> um, one of those ink blot things that's like, what do you see? And you say, oh, I see a ghost. I see a child crying. Um, pink, I think. Next. I need to go for my picked raspberry, although I kind of want to let it dry because it's still quite saturated. Let's find something to go on top. Can any of my creatures go on top, do you reckon? I could do a bunny. I've got trees not quite the right colour. Minty trees still not quite the right colour. I could do hugs. Urge? What was that? Oh no, I did you guys are something. Okay, that's not right. 18. Nothing of particular use today. <laughs> bunny. Call it bunny. The gerbil called bunny. Uh, it's like, I can't remember what it was that Piper had a, when she was tiny, somebody had a, had a, hamster called pig is that right or a hamster called elephant or something like that and then in uh, home that is it disney's home it, there was a cat named pig which is which is like the cutest cat ever maybe i should have used some watercolor cardstone yeah let's do a greeting Have I got today? 
I'm looking at my word greetings. Cheers, thanks. We could do a thanks. That's quite a cute one. Maybe in like a, um, I make a, a black foam. I've got foam which is like adhesive on one side somewhere um, and it's hiding huh oh no I think it just stood on my thing can you still hear me guys I think it just stood on my microphone lead Bye, Snow. Get better soon. I can't find my black, so I might go for some pink. Thanks. Okay, I'm nearly done. Nearly um dry, I mean. I think I might just splatter this with some light if I'm going to... If I'm going to put some pink on it, then I think I'm just going to splatter that. That one. Instead. Instead of smooshing it. Let's get my paintbrush. Although this is how I ended up splattering my monitor the last time. Craig had to come in and clean it. Feel better, Snow, sweet dreams. Okay. The ink smoosh technique is so fun. It's it's unpredictable though, isn't it? But I kind of like that. It's like doing the galaxy background as well. It's that you never really kind of know exactly how it's going to turn out. But as I've said before, you just make it work. Okay. So I'm going to add some double-sided sticky tape to the back and also add some paper to the back. Um, because with foam, with craft foam especially, ooh, it's a little off cut, it's pretty perfect, that'll do, um, with foam it stretches when it goes through the machine and if you have a thin foam then, or a thin die so it has, um, thin edges. It can kind of get all twisted and horrible and misshapen and not very nice at all. So what I tend to do is at least on the most part mount it onto some cardstock. And I have a little drawer full of off cuts that I use for this kind of thing or if I'm doing like I need just a little tiny piece. So let's run this through. So this is a paper smooches die. Oops. Um, thanks. Thanks. So because now that has card on the back, it doesn't lose its shape as much whenever you're taking it out. And it also means that you can stick it down easier because foam is a fickle friend. It is not the easiest of things to glue. It will pretend that it's stuck sometimes and then it will jump up again. Cool. 
So I'm going to put this along here, but what I actually want is to have like um, an edge with a real pop of colour, like black probably. Let me try and tidy up as I go along. Put my pink foam away. So I think I'm going to... I'm going to run this through my machine again, but move my die over to the left slightly, I mean the right slightly. Or rather, it's probably going to be easier to do it this way. Upside down. Because then I can line up this edge with the top. And I'll just fold it over, it'll hold fine. I'll do the same at the bottom though. Topic says Elizabeth Lucy. Are you having a release before Christmas? Why, yes, yes, I am. You guys will have a release, or be at least seeing a release within the next few weeks. Our Next release is planned for the first week in November. Mm. Bum -ba -da -bum. Yay! Which is exciting! It has been all go Casadel Omen. Fun and games for sure. Get a little black cardstock on the go here. So I don't know about you guys, but I also keep a, um, a it's like a wooden drawer. It's like a wooden drawer, about A4 size. And I keep that full of off cuts of plain colored cardstock. Um, for things like this, or if I'm cutting, <laughs> um, I, I'm cutting out like die cut letters or like hearts and things, because you only need a little, excuse me, a little tiny bit for things like hearts. So I keep a little drawer of off cuts for that. I have my unit in the corner which has got all my 12 by 12 and eight and a half by 11 and A4. I've got a little bit of a mixture of stuff happening over there. But if I have any off cuts, certainly kind of smaller than A4. Then I actually put that in this other car, this other drawer. Five and a half. I was too excited. I muted my sound, so I missed everything you said except November. Oh, bless you. I, I said that we will indeed be having a release before Christmas, that we will be having a release, that the, the, it is planned for the 1st of November. So that is exciting, huh? Okay, we are smooshing it up around here. Thanks. I want something that says like a bunch. Thanks, a bunch. Do I have anything that says a bunch? Thanks a lot. Oops. Ooh, Santa, I love Christmas. Mm-hmm. So what's on everybody's Christmas wish list this year? 
what do you think is going to be the big the big things happening I got lots for Christmas last year oh I definitely got I had like um thanks no um I got lots of oh yeah I got a bunch of long fun stuff that didn't arrive so Craig hid <laughs> or released should I say little printouts of stuff like every couple of hours so that he drip fed me my um <laughs> my presents but I got lots of like sequins and fun things like that I'm just having a look through my my stash to see if I can see anything else in there oh maybe another camera the one I got to take to Africa was useless Brr. knit untangled <laughs> well apart from H hf is that heavy do it all i call it hfd hfd purely because whenever i sent off my dies to be made they give you a reference and the reference was hfd so i was like yeah that works so on the back all of my skus are f uh, hfd 001 002 blah 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 so thank thanks for your kindness for your kindness that works that works that works let's see what else we've got here going on thanks you brighten my life no 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 anything else speaking to me thanks you crack me up i kind of like that add a little oh I could add a thingy to it thanks you crack me up no stick on track let's see mm, no. thanks I'm so glad to have met you I like that too that's an option Just a note to say thank you. Don't need that. Thanks for your support. Feel better soon. You and my, you make a difference. That's also a fun one. Place your bets or cast your votes, perhaps I should say. Oh, you're one in a million. You did a review. Somebody did a review. Yeah. Thank you, Lisa. Woohoo. Christmas is my favorite cards to make, says Shona. Woohoo. Hey, Rebecca. Hey, girl. I don't really want presents from other people. I like buying my own presents. <laughs> yeah. I always pick, make a. Um, I like that one too. You make me happy. I, I always make like a little li wish list and then sometimes people are like, I'm not buying you crafty things. Like you you can buy yourself craft things. I'm going to buy you something else. And I'm like, but well, I want crafty things. I'm pretty sure I've said this before on my stream. You're the best. Danke, danke, danke. Okay, we have to pick one of these, or I've got one other thing over here, probably. No. You are the sweetest. You have my heart. Here's a hug. Okay. So we've got thanks. You are the sweetest. That could work. We've got thanks. I don't know why I put it. You are so special to me. Also like that one. Thanks. You make me happy. Thanks, you women. I don't want your one well, million. I don't want that one. That's not right. I don't want that one either. So we're down to... You make me happy... You are so special to me, or you are the sweetest. 
doing that one either. What's your thoughts, guys? Oh, I like you make me happy. Sold to Rebecca. You make me happy. Guys, I agree. I think we need a little white on black action. That is a sweet one. You make me happy. Clearly besotted sentimental type is this one. Oh, sorry, did I shout that? Maybe my microphone has gone weird. Let's see what we've got. So yes, we're getting a gerbil. We've had some ideas for names, but until we get the gerbil, we probably won't make a full decision. We won't tell Piper until the gerbil's born because it um, needs to stay with its mommy for five weeks. So we'll probably tell her then so she can have a little bit of time to get excited. Although I remember whenever I was young and I, we got a puppy Technically, I got a puppy. It was kind of for my birthday. And I remember being outside playing and my dad came home. And he was like, oh, mum's just back from shopping. Um, go in and help her put away the groceries or something. Like that. And I was like, um, I'm doing something. Or probably, probably just like, mm, no. <laughs> and, and then he just kept going on and I was like, go on inside and, and like help and I was just like I'm in the middle of doing something dad and he was like would not give up on this thing and um, <laughs> and I was like well what why like if she's like, even be fine like if she needs me she'll call me and then he was like I think she's got a puppy or something and I was like pew, pew. I was gone I was in there I'm going to put you on mute again. One, because I've just realised I've just gone pew, down, really loud down the microphone. Sorry. And also I need to use my heat tool. Bye. Once again. I'm back. Hey, hey Jessica, she's back. Although I'm nearly done. I'm starting to fade a little. Just gonna trim this little guy up. I can't believe I've worn out my blade already. Although I might turn it round. Have you ever done that? If it's like blunt, sometimes if you turn it around, it works better the other way. I don't know whether that's a real thing or I imagined it. We'll give it a go. Okay. Got my little sanding block anyway that I can get rid of any riggedy raggedies technical term alert <laughs> oh you're going to a wedding yes have fun that's right you were saying that you had a wedding that you were we're going to let's get out my big beastly 
foam tape that I'm trying to make my way through so I can buy some more thin, thinner one. <laughs> What time is it with you, Jessica? I'm trying to get used to everybody's time zones. I know in the morning, I think that Australia are already up. I think. Is that right? And I know Crystal comes online about the middle of the day. I am doing a great job of getting through this. I'm going to be buying my new tape in no time. <laughs> 625. That's good. Wow, I wish I could make cards as fast as you. I don't think I'm that fast. Some people are prolific. I have been getting faster because I used to do this stream and I used to take like three hours to do the whole thing. And that was sometimes even with prepping um, and like planning what I was going to do. And yeah, I don't know, I've been getting faster. I have also been doing, I guess, simpler things in a way. not quite as beefy. But yeah, I don't think I'm fast for sure. You make me happy. You guys make me happy. I look forward to my Friday night streams. alert. Simple but effective. And my, my craft desk is not a complete mess. I think this little poppy up metal crate thing in my chicken of a bob um, is actually was a positive move but I have lost my no I haven't it's here my multi matter medium I leave the office at 4 30 and basically sit in traffic oh that's not fun not fun at all <laughs> Good for photos if it's overcast. Oh yeah, the wedding, that's true. Because if, um, if it's really bright and sunny, then everybody's squinting, isn't it? Okay, adding a little glue here. Here, there and everywhere. We're good. It used to take me three to four hours to make one card and it was always high stress. Like any moment a disaster can strike. Now I'm better at card surgery and going and going with the flow and could you to get simple card done in half an hour. Yeah, I think that's one of the things that has been a huge thing for me is that like I'm a bit chill like what's the worst that happens you're like I don't like it chuck it and yes it might you might consider it a waste of paper or you might consider it a waste of time or whatever but I have um I've been trying really hard to instead of like chucking things 
put it away or set it to the side and forget about it and move on to something else because then you won't actually dwell on it as much and sometimes when you come back to something you have total fresh eyes and you realize that like it actually isn't the big disaster that you thought it was or you come back and you're like I totally know what to do to rescue this project and um, I've been able to do that a lot so yeah I don't I don't want to say I don't care because that's not the right words but I guess it's like nobody died right <laughs> Nobody got hurt in the making of this card or in the, the non-completion of this project. So does it really matter in the grand scheme of life? The answer is probably no. Of course you don't have that yay i made a card and i feel amazing and i'm so happy with it you don't get that unfortunately but you can't have it always all the time hmm i want the pink oh i know studio katia had these amazing super bright the first time i saw them i was like oh they're a bit garish and then i was like no they're not garish they're beautiful it's like unicorn poop and they're just perfect for this little project. Look at that. Bada boom. A little gold on there. That might be too pink, that one. And a blue. Ever wonder how you play sequence? You let fate take its course. <laughs> <laughs> you aren't precious about it that's a good way to to talk about it you aren't precious about it yeah oh that's too much let's look it back up A little blue, a little pink, and I think we call that done. They totally work with this card, don't they? So fun. They are a bit like overwhelming, like when they're all together. But I don't know, I guess they might be Marmite, these these things. But some people might think that they're a bit over the top. Which, and I totally had that thought at the start and then I went full circle. I was like, I actually love them. I think they look, they, they reminded me of like um, mermaid scales or something. You know, whenever you see something that, that um, has that, almost like, you know, petrol spill when you see the rainbow in it, that kind of thing. Pretty, pretty. Yeah. In a rainbow shaker, that'd be awesome. Yep, I, I made a shaker with the Studio Katia. I made it with the Studio Katia and Chibitronics collaboration. And I did a shaker. Is it here? Is it here? I really need to go through all my cards and pull out, put some away and, and, um, display some as well I end up sometimes having a big pile next to me probably need to do another card call and send some up send some out oops go back where where you belong my dear okay guys I think I'm gonna call it a night right there let me do my trick We've got one card here. We've got one card there. And we have this one here. 
three cards. Nothing overly complicated tonight, is there? A little bit of googly eye action on the go. Don't forget that tomorrow you can go to the Heffy Doodle blog and get some digis. And um, you've got the choice between the, the British post box and the American mailbox. Or of course you can just download both of them. Mm -hmm. How do you get the digi? So tomorrow you go to the Heffy Doodle blog. So go to heffydoodle.com, click on the button that says blog. And there will be a blog post there that um, is talking about World Card Making Day. And it will have some projects made using this um, stamp set, not stamp set, this digi. This is what I'm looking for. Um, including this one here, which is the one that I made for the blog for tomorrow. Um, and you'll see some projects from the rest of the team as well. And there should also be a coupon to use in our brand spanking new ship. Um, but the thing is with the coupon, just a reminder, if you are going on there, is that you have to add the coupon at the cart stage and not at the checkout stage, unless Mark has worked his magic and managed to fix that so far, which he was working on tonight. Right, guys, thank you so much for... Um, for joining me and for crafting with me and um, I always enjoy seeing what you guys made whenever you were crafting along with me. Thank you for your patience as we <laughs> reprinted this one um, and a big thank you to Craig as well for filling. <laughs> He's the best. Have a great week and I shall see you next week. Yeah, have a good one. Happy crafting. Bye.